everybody, what's up? I thought I would talk about the best setup I have come across for Altar so far. I've been playing around with, with it a little bit. I did a little bit of playing around because I got Sinway up to a point where I thought it was appropriate to start testing him and making a little bit of content with him. So I threw him in one of the teams and then I've been doing some rearranging and this is my best hit now. So I will, I'll, I will just show you the team in action. It's on hard. It looks like I'm gonna be able to th um, three shot hard this time. So the team, my setups are, team one, I've got Crete. Let me move my camera real quick so you can see my prototypes and stuff. Team one, I've got Crete, Nagrama, Ravenna, Omar, and Masrani. I'm using Rota, Rota as the commander, and then I've got a Power Word Pain, and then the other stuff I've just kind of thrown in. It's not really anything specific. I did, I did drop Coronate here to help Masrani out a little bit with the healing. And, uh, and they have been dropping the first boss. So we've been completely taking the skill away from the third boss by dropping the first one. The second team I'm running is Randall up front. I've got Skewer and Hattie, Mooka, uh, Liren, and then Senway, who again has recently built. And we'll, we, there will be a video on Senway. I don't know if it's gonna go up before this one or after, but uh, we're using this car obviously as our commander for this one. And then our prototypes here are Praying Eyes. Again, more for the stats than the effects because I haven't really done a lot with the, with the other ones yet. Company of Heroes. Again, because it's the biggest stat bump I can get for them. And then uh, Scholar's Monument. Again, none of these are really that important. They're just here for the stat bonus. I will probably go level them up. What needs to happen here for this team, because because there's no problem surviving, we need to output more damage. So, like, my Randall is not built for damage. That would probably help me out a lot. I also don't know that Randall is optimal for this. There's some conversation to be had about whether or not he's actually a summoning champ. <laughs> um, but I've got him in here anyway, because he's just one of the better champs I have, and he can kind of do frontline with the way he's built. Mooka needs a few more evolutions, but Mooka's built pretty well. Everybody's built pretty well. But like obviously Skewer and Hattie just has one evolution in them. If we show you what, what we're looking at here, we've got uh, Mooka who's just at Mythic, base Mythic, and then Skewer and Hattie just has the one evolution. So if I could get them a little bit further evolved and scale their stats up a little bit where the gear really has a bigger impact, our damage output would be better. Because survivability is not the problem here. It's just outputting enough damage to take this boss out. If we could take this boss out, I feel like with our current setup, we potentially could one shot the boss on team three because only in the very late stages of the fight do we show signs of starting to get worn down and it, without that shield i think we could probably take him out in one go so so as my team two gets stronger here i think we're going to get to a point soon where we can one shot hard i just have to scale up the damage a little bit in in this team so this is what we're running though and then team three is Artis up front, Taylor, Sorietta, Botmark 2, and uh, Serena. We are running Brynhild as the commander, obviously, again. I've got Pain Rune here for Artis because I, I need it to be a little bit easier for Serena to, to manage Artis. Here I'm also using my Prism Amulet, and then I'm using Flashpoint here for Serena because I think Flashpoint is pretty fantastic, honestly. So Flashpoint I'm using on purpose. It's a shame I don't have more evolutions in it so I can get more stats from it but the effect itself is still pretty handy. So this is the this is the setup I'm running. I believe we should drop the boss this time. This should be the end of hard. So again, this one we, we run through pretty quick too. When Ravenna gets going, man, it's a real problem <laughs> for this boss. So this one we take out pretty quick, which is nice because this boss outputs pretty high damage. So it's 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 good to get in and out of here quickly. So the swap, I had Lear in here. I, I did I moved a few things around and we, the the first one we did, I think we got the boss down to like we almost took him out. So with these swaps, we're taking this boss out. And again, once I up my damage in team two, when we can drop that boss and remove the shield skill from team three, I don't think we're gonna have any problem one shotting hard. And like Ravenna is just, you know, only continuing to scale up and get stronger at this point. So you'll see the HP just start melting. 
She's just ridiculous, dude. I'm one more level away from maxing her exclusive. She is at 29 right now, so I need 50 more red runes to max her exclusive. I'm pretty excited about that. So there you go. There's team one down. And then team two, again, like we're, we're never really in any danger. It's just a matter of time. We have a minute and a half to take this boss out and that shield. And then again, you see our damage is like, we, we're doing okay. We're doing decent damage, but we, we got to get through the shield a little bit quicker, I think. And then we have to actually do damage more substantially. So maybe as we power up our prototypes and get more appropriate ones slotted in, as, as I commit more attention to my prototypes, we'll get the right ones slotted in, get better stat bonuses, get better effects. Maybe we figure out a substitute for Randall someone else that can actually contribute some heavy damage to the fight we get another evolution or two in Mooka. like if we could get everybody to legendary i feel like we would probably drop this boss and my simway is only going to get stronger you see he needs a couple more evolutions to get to immortal and i'm going to get several more copies of him from this event i think so we uh i think we're going to be in pretty good shape for next week's altar i have a feeling i'm going to be able to one shot hard next week so we'll see how that plays out Maybe I'll try to grab, if I haven't already grabbed another copy of Mooka from the ticket shop, I'll see if I can't grab one of those. I might have a ticket somewhere with a hero selection and maybe I'll grab another one there. So yeah, we can take out three. We just have to up our damage a lot here. And more evolutions and maybe a substitute for Randall I think are going to be helpful, helpful for that. So that's that for team two. And then honestly, Infer not, the boss not having Infernal Blast is a pretty big boost. It makes it much easier to survive. But dude, if we could get rid of that shield. Which we do deal with pretty effectively. Like you'll see, we'll, we'll drop the shield pretty quick. Generally anyway. Like that's decent. But if the shield wasn't there at all, and that was all going into his HP, I mean, we, we would just be melting him. And he does it frequently. He does it kind of frequently. So yeah, if we didn't have those little hiccups in our damage we were doing to him, I'm so sure we'd be able to one-shot him. I really don't think we're going to have a problem one-shotting him. Which is going to be dope, because then we can one-shot everything we want to and i don't i don't know what kind of scale up hard's gonna or, or hell is gonna be rather i know that they tend the the damage the difficulty jump seems to be pretty substantial every time you bump up <laughs> so i'm expecting it to be insane but we're gonna be able to get a lot of good rewards from here and hopefully start getting some good four piece sets I think I'm finally going to start getting into territory where I, where I can start snagging enough pieces every week of the four-piece sets to actually start getting my champs in some good four-piece sets. I really don't feel like I'm at a point in the game where I can afford to have anyone on Mythic gear, so I need good Legendary gear. So there you go. We, we three-shotted hard this week, and I'm really going to shoot for one-shotting hard next week. And then now we've got two tickets. I'm probably going to drop normal. And then maybe I'll throw one in hell later just to see what, what it's like. But this is the team, short of Randall getting a substitution, this is probably the team I'm, I'm running with for a while. This team seems to be doing pretty well. And again, once we get everybody scaled up, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Let me check this real quick. Yeah, I've already grabbed my Mooka from here. I don't think I have enough. There's not one in here anyway. And then I guess we can see if Mooka ends up on a banner or something anytime soon that we want to pop on. I'm still on the fence about summoning for Leo. I definitely want to add him to the roster, but as it stands right now, I'm only going to get one copy of him unless I get real lucky. And I would rather save the cards. So I'm not real, that's how I feel right now anyway. We have, what, 13 days to figure it out. So maybe they drop 12 days. They Maybe they drop another event or something and, and that changes the way I feel about it. But for right now, that's how I feel about it. Oh, I was in the middle the whole time. I guess we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it.
Um, just that's what I'm doing in Alter. You guys seem to enjoy the Alter content and seeing how we're working. Next week, we're going to see if we can't one-shot hard, and we'll do a video on that as well. So that's it. I'm getting out of here.